Hi guys, my name is Adrian Richards. I'm a plastic uh, surgeon, surgical director of Aurora Clinics based here in the UK. And in this short video, it's one of the series we're doing, I'm going to be talking about trigger finger, why you get it, and uh, uh, how you do an injection to uh, help improve it. Now, the injection technique is obviously only for the medical professionals, so uh, don't be uh, tempted to even consider doing the uh, injection um, at home on your own. So, trigger finger, what is it? Well, essentially, it's a swelling of the tendons in the uh, fingers, um, and because the tendons are held in tight sheaths, um, when you get a swelling, you get a sort of locking of the tendon in the, um, in the opening of the sheath. Ring finger is the most commonly effective. We always think that the middle finger is our power finger, but in fact, the most power is, comes from the uh, ring finger. When you bend your fingers, the ring finger is actually one of the longest fingers and the first one to take all the power. The sheath um, in the uh, fingers um, lies, this is called the uh, distal palmar crease here, and there's basically a tunnel which comes all the way along here. Now, the tunnel's got lots of different pulleys, uh, which is quite complicated, but basically the one you're interested in is the A1 pulley. So we've got A1 going to A5, um, but A1 is the most, you know, towards your brain side uh, pulley. It's here, and then we've got a tendon which comes in here, and when the tendon gets a swelling on it, the nobble on the tendon will not go through the uh, mouth of the pulley. <clears throat> so what tends to happen is at night you bend your fingers, your fingers are all bent at night, you get more swelling everywhere, you get swelling in your eyes, you know, so you get puffy eyes in the morning, no different from your tendon, everything gets a bit more swollen. Your fingers bent, you get swollen there, so first thing in the morning, uh, the tendon's swollen and, and it won't go through the mouth of the A1 pulley. So what tends to happen is the um, fingers are bent like that, it's called a trigger finger because you can sometimes straighten it yourself, um, you know, from pulling the tendons, or some people actually have to physically straighten their fingers, or in really severe cases, the, the um, tendon can get locked because that nodule won't go through. So um, the tendon's like that, and it's called a trigger finger because you have to sort of trigger it to get that nodule to go through the finger. So our aim of the uh, treatment is to inject local anaesthetic and steroids around this nodule here, um, to reduce the swelling on the outside of the uh, tendon. So the, the swelling is caused by synovium, which is on the outside of the tendon, and that's what we want to reduce. And by reducing that, we're going to let the uh, tendon slip um, simply in and out of that tendon sheath. Trigger fingers can occur in any one of the fingers. The most common is the ring, can occur in, in, can occur in the thumb. And I'm going to now show you how to uh, do a steroid injection to uh, help trigger fingers. So what I'm going to do, you know, we couldn't get anyone in the office to have a, a hand injection, so I'm doing it on our trusty um, model hand here. So I'm going to try and get the steroids around the tendon. It doesn't actually have to be um, within the flexor sheath in the A1 pulley because you can get the ganglions if you go through there. So I'm going to uh, aim to get the steroid just around the nodule. Okay, so first thing to do, no touch technique, so I'm going to uh, clean the area. Fortunately, I've cleaned my marks off as well, uh, but uh, there you go, wouldn't normally need marks. Feel for the um, tendon nodule, get the patient to move the finger up and down and you feel the nodule moving up and down. It's important to check that there is a nodule because one of the other things that can give an appearance of triggering is uh, subluxation of the extensor tendon on the back of the proximal interphalangeal joint here. So just look for any uh, clicking here. Make sure you have got a nodule which moves when the patient moves. Put your finger on it, locate the spot, and then with the numbers of the syringe up, bevel of the uh, needle up, just pop through like that, ideally with the finger slightly bent. So the patient's got their finger, finger bent, it's difficult to do that, but I'll try. Uh, pop through, uh, bevel up, pop through, through the skin, through the subcutaneous tissue, through the, uh, on top of the tendon. Now you might actually be on the tendon there, so if you uh, ask the uh, patient to straighten up their finger, that pulls the tendon away, and you should be able to inject really, really easily. If there's any resistance, stop injection, you should be able to inject really easily into that sheath. And then, let's direct on there, out we come. Always with any type of hand surgery, same with face, facial surgery, hand up or head up, 
the higher above your heart it is, the less arterial pressure you're going to have, the less bleeding, the less swelling, and up pressure on the area where the stirrette for a couple of minutes. And then I always ask my patients to bend and straighten the fingers because that disperses the local anaesthetic and the uh, steroid through the sheath. So good old bend there. Okay. Now the triggering will pretty much go, um, or the patient will definitely feel much more comfortable um, pretty much immediately for the next hour, um, uh, relief in the uh, pain. But uh, triggering may continue for a you know, few, few days because what we're trying to do, the, the steroid is reducing the synovium around the tendon and that's going to take a little bit of time to work. Really, really effective treatment. You can do it with any of the uh, digits. Um, slightly different position, which I'll show you in a minute for each of the different uh, pulleys. Probably, I'd only recommend a maximum of three times, really, for a trigger finger release. Any, if, it, if it keeps coming back after three times, really, perhaps uh, surgery is the uh, best option. And surgery is a very simple procedure, form out the local anaesthetic, and just releases the uh, pulley. So, now I'm just going to show you the different uh, sites to inject for each of the different digits. So I'd just like to say thank you to my children. They've um, lent me their um, special pen set today. So uh, thanks uh, very much to all of them. And uh, I'm going back to school with all my different colours. So the flexor retinaculum, the A1 pulley, is this red area here. The green line here, that's the distal palmar crease, that's the proximal palmar crease, and that's the, there's normally two creases in the thumb the uh, proximal one and the distal one. So what you're trying to do is get just before the uh, crease, um, just for the A1 pulley. Okay, so in the little finger, you inject slightly distal to the uh, crease, and again, ring finger slightly distal to the crease. In the um, uh, middle finger, it's between the, this crease, distal palmar crease and the proximal palmar crease there and the same for the in index finger. But the index finger, remember all the tendons are coming from the carpal tunnel there, so they're angling that way. So in the, um, in the index finger, the tendon is more this way. It's more ulna, more towards the little finger than you would think. And in the thumb, you tend to inject just proximal to the uh, proximal thena crease here, but interestingly, again, remember the tendons are coming from the carpal tunnel, so they're going that way, so they're much more around, much more towards the back of the hand than you would think. So you can either rotate the thumb and go in that way, or some people actually do the injections from that way. It doesn't really matter which way you go, it's the important thing is to get the um, steroid in the right place. So thanks very much for watching the video, I hope you found it interesting. Good luck with your um, steroid injections for trigger finger. It could be a really rewarding treatment actually because it's a very painful condition, trigger finger, locking in the morning, very debilitating. Simple injection, 90% you know, of the time it's going to cure it. Um, it'd be great for you, great for the patient. Uh, but again, if it keeps coming back after three uh, goes, uh, probably the best thing to do is refer it to a suitable hand surgeon. Thanks very much for watching uh, the video.